You really cannot spell Victoria 3 without Prussia in it. That's exactly why today we'll be doing Prussia into Super Germany to mix things up a little bit and tell you what, I'm gonna be recording all the way to 1936 today and I'm gonna split this up in three parts so I can let you guys see everything that I'm doing, include as much as possible in the final edits and I will be releasing the next part of this campaign whenever we reach 6,900 likes and if we get 40 comments saying Prussia Universal is Broski. The, the broski is necessary, by the way, in, in that comment. Now, if you really want me to release this tomorrow, because that's also an option, then let's get 8,288 likes, okay? For no specific reason. I just like that number. What's your problem, bro? Obviously, we're gonna have to have a little bit of a different approach to our game today, since uh, having Austria join us when we formed Germany, which is, by the way, what Super Germany means, it's gonna be a little bit tougher, so we're gonna have to start by improving relations with them, first and foremost, and we're gonna end the rivalry with the Austrians, because they need to have at least plus 50 relations in order to allow themselves to join us in the Union also, we're gonna need to go to war with them before that <laughs> to become the only option that people have when it comes to uh, forming Germany here, namely the launch unification play. That is gonna be after we get nationalism. So that's why the first part of the campaign, we're gonna try and get a really strong economy going. We're gonna be improving relations with neighbors around us in the hopes that these neighbors are gonna be helping us out against the um, Austrians in the unification play, and then we're gonna fight against these neighbors to get stronger and hopefully get the Austrian on our side afterwards. So it's a lot of complicated snaps, but pay close attention because I'll try my best to include as much as possible so you guys can follow along if you like to do Super Germany yourself. Before we do anything, of course, I'm going to be changing my uh, armies here. I'm going to set them to state and we're going to rename them first Imperial Army and so on. Give them a nice green flag. Yes. And I just realized I made first one the third one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to change this up. All right. Now it's a lot better. So for the first Fourth Imperial Army, we're gonna be uh, doing something different though, because the Fourth Imperial Army is basically only Lancers right now. So we're gonna be switching this up and we're gonna send some of these Lancers to the army that doesn't have enough Lancers. That means the first and third army, which are lacking five Lancers each. So we're just gonna keep five Lancers in the uh, Fourth Imperial Army for the time being. We're gonna get five infantry conscripts for now in that particular army so that we have the balance and we don't get the uh, organization debuff whenever the war starts, which is when we're gonna have the conscripts around. Also gonna rename this uh, Chaticus uh, Shippius Maximus, give it a proper German name here and uh, that's it when it comes to our armies for the time being. We're gonna increase our army size before the wars with the Austrians but that's gonna be in a while. Like I said we're not gonna speed it up uh, when it comes to the unification because we want to have a strong economy beforehand and we want the Austrians on our side. We could just form regular Germany without Austria but we need to get Austria so that means we need to wait because we got to improve relations with them and we got to make them nice towards us basically now we do need to get more rivals so i'm gonna go ahead and um i'm gonna rival a few other nations like the ottoman empire the spaniards i'm gonna rival as well and hell even the dutch i'm gonna rival i'm just doing that so i get some extra influence points that i can use to improve with nations around now i'm gonna be improving and i'm also gonna be bankrolling hanover brunswick and uh lippe which uh, would break away from my customs union if i don't do in the case of lippe and then just to cycle my uh influence with the rest of the uh nations around around here because we want to have great relations with everybody in Germany so they would choose us as the German unificator, right? Technologically speaking, we have 58 innovation with a cap of 113, so we're going to try to reach the cap as soon as possible in the early part of the campaign. Now, we can actually do something from the very get-go, which is we can change the university production method to the philosophy department, which automatically is going to boost us from 58 to 62 weekly innovation, and we're also going to do the same with the uh, government administration make sure you have standardized filing uh, systems so you get more bureaucracy out of uh, your admin centers general training as well for the conscripts that we recruited for the fourth army truth be told most of the production methods are already pretty good we're just going to change street uh, lighting over here we're going to change some of our textile mills to produce also uh, luxury clothing now that means that we need to import some silk so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be importing silk so we can actually use that silk in uh, producing the luxury clothing we don't have
have that domestically uh, constructed. So we need to get it from around the world. Eventually, we will be attacking some uh, areas of the world which have silk production. So we have our own silk production, but that's not in the early part of the campaign. We actually start with a surprisingly good amount of um, buildings. And we've changed uh, the fishing trawlers here, which means we're going to need more clippers. So let's go ahead and import clippers as well alongside the silk that we need. We're going to need to build some clippers uh, manufacturers. We don't have right now any shipyards. So we need shipyards and military shipyards. One of each should be fine. But first and foremost, we need more construction sectors. So we're going to build up 10 construction sectors in uh, Silesia. Speaking of Silesia, this is going to be our primary focus right now. Why is that? Well, obviously Silesia has 120 up to coal mines, 60 iron mines, lead mines, sulfur, obviously logging camps. But most importantly, we also get 10% coal throughput in this state. And we have 15 extra infrastructure from the Oder River. So essentially, Silesia is an absolute behemoth of a state. We have tax collection issues, though. So we're going to need to build an admin building here after we build the construction sectors. So we're going to queue it up like this. We're going to do the construction sectors. Then we're going to do a couple of logging camps, say four logging camps, then a few iron mines. Another great state that we have is Westphalia. And that's why after we build up the stuff in uh, Silesia, we're also going to build up in Westphalia because this is where we have right now majority of our tooling workshops and steel mills and we're going to need a lot of steel to fuel our industry obviously we also need motor industries and motor industries have an input of steel so building the motor industries in the same state where we have steel mills means that we don't have the debuff from having to uh, get that steel from other states due to lowered mappy right now our market access price impact is actually pretty decent though as the Prussians we started with one of the highest mappy in the world as you can see we have 85 percent uh, mappy so that means that only 15 percent difference we would be getting if we were to import the steel for our motor industries from another state but hey that 15 percent can be a big deal so that's why i'd rather have everything in here as required remember how i said we need shipyards and military shipyards that's what we're going to do next we're going to do them in uh, pomerania one of each because uh we don't want to rely on uh importing uh, clippers and uh steamers or whatever the hell they're called from other nations that would take up our bureaucracy for new trade routes and that's really not necessary when we can just have one of each and that should be enough for the early part of the campaign now let's go back to our research and we're gonna start uh, by uh, queuing up water to boilers that's gonna lead us to getting condensed engine pumps as our production method for our industry here so condensed engine pumps essentially doubles the output of iron coal and all of these other beautiful things that we need to fuel our industry now I also want to change a few things around my government obviously we're gonna stop bolstering the evangelical church we don't want to waste 200 of our authority points on bolstering one of the uh, interest groups that we don't really want to have in our government even for that matter. And we will be changing over and we're going to bring in the industrialists in our government. It's going to lower our legitimacy to 52, but it will allow us to go for less affair, which is honestly one of the best economic systems out there. It's going to allow us to get one extra company and it's going to give us a lot more contribution from the capitalists and the shopkeepers by 25% more to the uh, investment pool. So passing less fair early on in the campaign is absolutely delicious if we manage to of course it's not a guarantee obviously we also need more money to uh, fuel our industry so we're going to tax the shit out of people much like modern germany we're going to be uh we're going to have a lot of tax now we do want to cancel liquor and wine consumption tax because these affect primarily our lower strata but screw the lower strata for now we're going to keep it there we're going to add service tax we're going to add porcelain tax and we're going to add non-subscriber tax that's right i'm going to be taking in all your monies in fact i already got it it's right here because you didn't subscribe you subscribe right now and i give it back to you i promise and i'm a man of my word maybe maybe not who's to say you'll never know all right now we're also going to use uh some of our authority points to get the encouraged resource industry in silesia since this is where most of our industry most of our resources are going to be coming from at the beginning and pretty much the entirety of the campaign really but especially at the first part of the campaign right and speaking of i also need to queue up the uh, government administration building it's not a priority though we we don't need to stress too much about the 20% uh, tax efficiency debuff in Silesia. All right, let's go back to institutions. We're going to go to level three with this particular institution. We want to level this one up to level three as well, but we want to do it after we've changed uh, from the local police force to the dedicated police force because we don't want to give political strength to the Junkers. They've got enough as it is, in my opinion. Now, we do have two journal entries here, a German national identity. Once 75% of Germans have research nationalism, it's going to trigger and we can do the uh, leadership play for the German uh, area. I did start researching water 
to boiler because most likely we're going to research that before everybody else researches nationalism. We can queue up nationalism as our second technology, that being said. Schleswig-Holstein question is very easy to do. We just uh, ask them to liberate subject. And we're going to do it whenever the uh, big boys are engaged in other conflicts so they don't care about us uh, forcing the Danes to give uh, Schleswig its independence. I'm also going to make Arabia one of my declared interests because I uh, do intend on attacking the uh, Yemeni and Bahraini and Najedi lands which are basically free kills. They've got no battalions, no fleets, so it's just a matter of actually right clicking and attacking and that's it. Usually nobody cares about this area too, so no one's going to actually defend them. I'm also going to set the uh, manufacturing industry in uh, Brandenburg and I set another resource industry edict in uh, Westphalia. We will be using our authority points a lot in this campaign and we're going to be changing edicts around and we're going to use it for wherever is necessary. Obviously we're going to get more authority points once we've cancelled out the liquor and the uh, wine consumption taxes which will happen very very soon not to worry about it now because we've built all of those extra construction sectors what happens is we have a massive debuff when it comes to our iron and our wood so we could for once when it comes to iron import some of that to make up for the lack of iron and the same goes for the uh, wood we can get some wood from other nations but we will be queuing up a lot of iron mines and a lot of logging camps sadly we don't have enough market access in Silesia now because we don't have too much infrastructure so we're going to build up some more of these iron mines in Westphalia and we're going to build up a uh, railway in Silesia we're going to out click it so it uh, goes to the top of the queue alternatively we could cancel this edict and we can uh, set up a road maintenance edict in Silesia which will uh, fix any sort of infrastructure issues we might have and that means we go back to a hundred percent market access actually you know what because of that I probably will queue up more iron mines in here rather than Westphalia we can queue up the Westphalian ones afterwards I guess Ooh, 15%, but that's a big diva for the industrialists, man. Yeah, why not? Screw it. Who cares about the opinion of the industrialists? Am I right, guys? All right, time to queue up a few more logging camps. I'm going to do uh, not just in Silesia. I'm going to do some more over in Westphalia as well, and Halt and everywhere else. Wood is going to be one of the most important resources in this campaign, and we need as much as possible of it. Let's also queue up our universities, actually, now that I think about it. Let's get, say, uh, six of them in Brandenburg for the time being. I should think is enough, but I might be wrong. We might need more. Now, here's the problem, right? We have an engine shortage. Unfortunately, the only nation we can import engines from is the Brits. But let that not fool you. We are about to finish building our own motor industry, which we're going to be needing in our uh, railways in Silesia. So it should, they, they just got to be patient for a while. Railways are going to have the motors they need very, very soon. And look at that. We can change to our customs union, the nation of Brunswick. And once the uh, Brits lose their union, Union over the uh, Hanoverians we're gonna be able to get these guys over into our customs union as well and they're gonna bring a lot of resources because Hanover surprisingly has quite a few resources to offer oh we already at the consideration phase for less affair that is amazing news let's also go ahead and uh, queue up some more tooling workshops I'm gonna get five of them in Westphalia for now because Westphalia end of the day has everything that tools need so it needs steel and it needs wood to function and we have steel mills in Westphalia we're gonna have some logging camps built in here as well soon so it's a closed loop economy here with motor industries as well being here and taking the steel that they need from the same state also I just realized something I forgot to change my company so we start off with the Friedrich Group company which is a really good company I actually like it however we're not getting the uh, prosperity because we don't have much productivity from artillery foundries arms industries and so on so we're gonna just disband this for now and I'm gonna establish another company I just need to have 10 iron mines in uh, one of the states and that's going to be in uh, Silesia very soon. Once we have the 10 mines we can establish a company that I'll show you guys in a few moments. It's not available just yet because it doesn't have the prerequisites which is 10 iron mines in a state. Dude we got super good RNG. We just got less affair to the adoption phase. What? That's delicious my man. That is absolutely delicious right there. Go ahead and improve relations with some more nations. I actually would love to get an alliance with someone. Maybe I can try and get an alliance with the Russian if possible because Russia would be really good in the war against Austria they got a massive army they can use and we just got the uh, 10 mines 10 iron mines in Silesia it means we can get the United Silesian metal producers that's going to give throughput bonuses for iron mines for lead mines and steel mills throughput plus 10% so totally worth it especially
especially in the early part of the campaign, it is absolutely a delicious. And in case you're wondering, no, it doesn't affect only the stuff in Silesia. It affects the whole country, of course, even though it's called the Silesian Metal Conglomerate or whatever. It is just the name of the company. It's Jover, boys. It is actually freaking Jover. We got less affair on the first try. So uh, now we can do a lot of the other amazing legislations here, like landed voting, which is going to make it so much easier for us to become a democratic nation. But if we do landed voting, it's going to be harder to get an alliance with the Russians, which is kind of why I'm going to hold off on that for the time being, as I like to get my allies in Russia and then we can go for landed voting afterwards. And why is that? Because we would be a different government type and they are not cool with that. However, we can try and go for dedicated police force. There is some opposition for this from the Junkers primarily, obviously, because they're the ones that get political strength loss, but I don't care. I don't care. We're still going to be able to pass this. If I'm going to play my cards right here, boys. All right, let's see what other company we want to be gunning for here now. Since we are able to get two companies from pretty much 1838, which is insanely fast, most nations in Victoria 3 get their companies way later, way later. You know, there's so many of them, man. I don't know which one to even gun for. Like, I like the United Westphalian Steel Producers. I like the Brandenburg Home Good Corporation. Even the Prussian Paper, the Combined Prussian Mineral Corporations. I guess it's just a matter of whichever we get to get the 10 buildings built first, and then we go for that one, I guess. Oh, Russia wants a defensive pact. Okay, I don't mind a defensive pact with you, boyos. And the trade agreement. You guys absolutely love me, don't you, Russia? Oh, my lord. All right, I'm going to remove the consumption tax on wine so people can, uh, you know, thoroughly enjoy some wine. Hey, we got water to boilers and we failed the dedicated police force twice. Okay, whatever, bro. What freaking ever. Okay, check it out, everybody. Check this out. Oh, my God, we're making so much money. We're actually getting ridiculously rich right now. Now, the problem is that this means we're going to have a bigger demand of uh, coal and tools. So we're going to need to up the amount of coal mines that we have. Let's get another three in Silesia and another six in North Rhine. And let's also, um, actually, I probably should get all of them in Silesia, right? That's okay. It's okay. We'll get more in Silesia after. We need more tooling workshops, though. I have five queued up, but I'm going to get another five queue in the queue as we speak. And I feel like we need some more construction sectors. So let's get another three of them in Silesia for the time being. And there you have it. The long awaited alliance request from the uh, Russians. We didn't even need to use any of our obligations for this, which is amazing. Now we are in the process of researching nationalism. So once that's done, we might try to go for the uh, leadership play. And I just realized we're getting joint stock companies uh, passive research. That is really good. We're going to get three companies from the start. God dang. Let's get Bessemer process too and we're gonna go for canneries and then mechanized workshops right afterwards and where's my universities man i thought i queued them up Are they really far behind or what okay it's right after the logging camps i'm building right now very expected the danes have backed down and as such we now have a holsten independent this happens like nine out of ten times if nobody backs them up and right now nobody's backing them up because the french are busy the english are busy as well so um the only nations that would potentially back them up are not there the austrians are not backing them up also actually Actually, the Austrians is going pretty good right now. Even though we still are their rivals, I'm pretty sure that they're going to cancel their rivalry once we've um, gotten the leadership play, right? So after the war with the Austrians, essentially. Sacre bleu! The French are revolting again! Who would have thought the nation that had a thousand republics because of revolutions would revolt? Nobody! Nobody would have thought that. All right, looks like uh, Austria is also supporting them. Sway with the bankroll. Oh my god, Austria is trying to make money out of this. You slimy scumbag. Can we do the same, actually? Can we? Can we? Uh, no? No bankroll? Okay. No. Oh, whatever, bro. Okay. I totally didn't even want to support you for bankroll. That's not how I roll here, okay? Look at that. We got consideration phase. That is juicy. That is very juicy. And philosophy, de philosophy department. 25% university throughput. So how much are we at now? 69. Nice. I'm also queuing up like uh, one of each of these uh, buildings or a couple of them anyway. So I'm going to queue up in Brandenburg a couple of paper mills more. I actually would like to get 10 paper mills in Brandenburg. West Prussia apparently is getting one built by, uh, whatchamacallum, the private investment pool. So, hey, we can invite Hanover to our union. Fuck yeah. One more nation to join the customs union, the greatest customs union, to be more precise. I'd love to get these guys as well to our customs union. We can for obligations. You know what? I'm actually okay with that because I don't think they're actually going to ask me for anything for those obligations, to be fair. Let's check. Is everybody in here? I think, uh, yeah, Bremen, Hamburg, and Schleswig Holstein are not. I'm going to have to get them somehow in our union as well. Got a monument to the king. Okay, cool. Prestige plus 3% or... Yeah, sure. We'll take the prestige. It's been a while since I played with the uh, private investment. I normally like to have direct control over my uh, construction.
construction queue. But there are some bonuses, well, some benefits to having the private investment pool. First off, you know, it kind of feels like there's a private industry you're competing with. And I kind of like that, to be fair. And second off, there's also uh, the fact that they build shit that you would not normally be able to use your private investment pool to build unless you had certain um, economic systems enacted, right? But that being said, it does suck when somehow they have, for example, five tooling workshops in Westphalia and they decide to build a random fucking tooling workshop in Prussian Anhalt. Like, what the fuck is up with that, bro? Explain that to me, people. Can you actually explain that to me? Hey, we got dedicated police force. Hell yeah, brother. Let's upgrade these bastards to level two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, enough of that, enough, enough of that. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, secret police. The police that nobody knows is secretly watching this video. Hey, hey. I love, I love Japanese immigration office. I would, I, I love it. I uh, just want to say, randomly just want to say it out loud. <laughs> I would love to see my next residency have five years instead of, you know. Oh, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Why did Russia cancel their freaking alliance with me? Bro. And we're not even close to getting the diplomatic, uh, the leadership play yet. Because most nations haven't researched nationalism yet. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to get Hanover Alliance. Get out of here, Hanover. Excuse me. I don't think I've ever seen open market uh, <laughs> diplomatic play from the French against the Japanese. Like, what? What the? actual f-men why would the french even care about the japanese opening up their market like what the hell is this i mean don't get me wrong it's good for the japanese it's actually gonna fix a lot of issues for them but it's just weird to see the french out of all nations actually try and do that honestly hey we've actually gotten the joint stock companies hell yeah man okay we got two okay we need to get someone all right let's go temporarily with the textile syndicates and um that's it really i don't even know if we're gonna get prosperity for that though let's see is it actually gonna go up i don't think so now i remember why i wasn't playing with the stupid private uh, construction sector because if you go for less fair 75% of your construction sectors goes to these bastards slows you down a little bit but you know what I'm okay with it I'm actually okay with it I don't mind a little bit of slowy downy hey a fake left secret police everyone you get Gestapo you get Gestapo and hey you get Gestapo too hey <laughs> everybody's happy now because because if they're not happy we'll know about it okay so you happy right you tell me right now you happy and I think the best step to uh, move towards a uh, Democrat democratic society is to go and uh, become an oligarch up next <laughs> Hell yeah, baby! We're gonna be modern United States. I mean, uh, I mean Russia. Russia clearly, U.S. is not an oligarchy. Also owned by big corporations and stuff. <laughs> corporations are totally not the ones that actually call the shots in the United States. Clearly not. All right, boys. German national identity has been completed. That means we have the journal here done. So now, in order to complete this, we need to make sure that nobody else is a uh, unification candidate. That means, uh, you know, we gotta fight the Austrians. That's what it means. Look at that, though. 17 nations are supporting us now, and nobody is supporting the Austrians. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll be able to take them on now, now though, because uh, they have double my army size. Actually, triple my army size, not even double. Holy shit. Oh, hey, guys, we got a dissident, Peter Neustrader here, who uh, would like to make us a theocracy. Oh, Peter, what can I say? Oh, sh oh I'm so sorry, Peter. I oh, I didn't mean to click that. No. Oh, oh. So anyway, um, what was I saying before? I forgot. Oh, yeah, we got to fight the Austrians now. I will attempt to get this uh, leadership play done. So I've uh, mobilized my entire country. I I've gotten the highest amount of conscripts I can get, which is 52. It's not many, I know, but it's fine. Because, check it out, boys, with the Funk So Brother, we can call in the ally of uh, Russia, because we did give him obligations to ally them. And we can also call in Zebritosh, as long as we give him a diplomatic play. Bankroll or transfer subject to a Hensel Learn. Oh, boy. Should we bankroll? How much would that even be, though, bankrolling them? That's 45,000. Holy shit, man. I'm not sure they would even help much, mo though. Maybe I just call in the... Bavarians, that might even be a little bit better. We get, uh, we give them uh, war reps from the Austrians. That should be fine. Württemberg wants obligations from us. We'll give them that too. Okay, the French declared neutrality. All right, so that should be fine then. In that case, I feel like we might actually win against them without having to call in the English. And there you go. Shit, I forgot to add more war goals. No! In the middle of my war, freaking Oldenburg called in their obligations so I can fight against their aristocratic revolts. What the hell is going on here, brother? <laughs> 
Uh, we do have uh, a lot of uh, leeway here, so we could start pushing in this front here, and uh, this way we can relieve the pressure from the other front into the uh, Bavarian areas, basically, which right now we're kind of getting our asses handed to us over here, so we might expect Bavaria to peace out any moment. But yeah, there you go. We're making progress here for sure, because they don't have too many units assigned to this particular front, and it's basically half the freaking world against uh, aristocrats, which have no soldiers, by the way. Oh, wait, they have two soldiers. Never mind. Hey, we're an oligarchy, every Everyone. Hell yeah. Does that mean our name is Oli? Everybody's name starts with Oli. Is that what an oligarchy is? Clearly, that's exactly what it is. I like the way that we have the flag. This flag is much cooler than the other one, in my opinion. And look at the steady progress we're doing over here as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They want to enter a defensive alliance with us. They're offering us obligations. Hell yeah, Sweden. I'm more than happy with that. And okay, let's check what other legislation we can pass now. So our government's at 82 right now, and we have a lot of freaking uh, support for the industrialists. Holy shit we made them strong. Okay. I'm guessing that's a lot because of less affair and capitalists basically ruling our country right now. Maybe we can go for no migration control. I'd love to get more population in my country from just migrants all over the world coming in, right? This battle here is going to decide a lot of freaking things. Come on. We need Bohemia. That's our way towards uh, getting to the capital in Vienna. We need it. We need it. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Oh my god. If we get... Oh my god. Please win this battle. Please freaking win this battle. Dude, we're winning. We're actually freaking winning in my dude and this one is gonna be a loss isn't it yeah this one's gonna be a loss but hey we won two that's more than one okay two is definitely more than one in my opinion sadly as expected bavaria did get capitulated it is unfortunately what it is and what the hell is going on here as well bro your secrets are winning oh my god maybe i should have helped yeah hey russia's doing something as well this is the first freaking attack i've seen them do so far they've only been getting their asses handed to them so i'm not sure why i even got them in my freaking alliance against austria like honestly we're doing all the freaking heavy lifting here the russians haven't done a single freaking thing this entire campaign. Come on, crack Austria already. Crack, you scumbags. Can you just crack, please? I need to, to crack. I'm using a lot of conscripts in this war, which means my population is dying out. I want a war to freaking finish so I can get back to restoring my beautiful country to amazingness, okay? All right, we can also switch over to uh, sewing machines here and mechanize workshops as well as canneries. We forgot to do this a while back, actually, the canneries. So good thing I remembered. There we go. Rifles as well. Really should be paying attention to this stuff because I've been focusing way too much on the war. You can also get 4.1k progress for repeater guns, which is really good too. Come on, dude. This is the battle. This is the battle. This is the battle for Vienna, boys. We got it. They We broke their supply lines. They're panicking. They're retreating. This is it. This is it. Come on, give me Vienna another battle are you freaking kidding me right now come on dude i need this so badly we got it we got it oh my wife's calling me all right hold up a second oh we got my migration control all right well just had a quick chat with the waifu back at it boys the iron chancellor appoint bismarck as chancellor 20 infamy dk damn oh oh hell yeah 20 infamy dk i do like me some infamy dk all right we got the battle did we get the vienna we didn't get vienna what the fuck man can we just get vienna already please i'm begging you begging begging you form super germany Eh, eh, eh. Oh, we got it. Okay, we won this, boys. We won this. Look at that. It's going below zero. They're gonna lose. They're gonna lose. You guys are such losers. <laughs> that was um, a bit of a weird one, but yeah. We'll just ignore that I laugh like that, please. All right, we won this, man. We crushed them. We crushed their spirits. We crushed their souls. And they can go F themselves because they're going to be a part of me very soon. Um, What is that? Everybody abandoned me, by the way. So I'm, I'm not going to forget that. Every single body abandoned me. I had to win this war all by myself. If it wasn't for me, you know, just sacrificing my economy, sacrificing my health, sacrificing Skorbidongs when I send them off into that suicide wave, I wouldn't have won this. But we did it. We did it, boys. Look at that. German leadership. North German Federation has been completed so we can go ahead and we can do this now it becomes the North German Federation now boys in order to form Germano formius Germanicus we need the Austrians to support us that means we got to improve relations with them still they're at minus 20 poor relations they still rivaled us so there's two options we can try and get them to uh, be on the same side of a diplomatic play with us, but that's not a guarantee that they're gonna be uh, accepting us as the German leader. The best way to make them accept us as the German leader is to just get the relations with them, honestly. That being said, we do have all the conquered uh, integrated nations, but yet as incorporated states, so that's perfect. I just realized I forgot to liberate Schleswig, which means they're still a part of Denmark, so I'm gonna have to do that later. Now, of course, the southern uh, boyos are voting for us. Württemberg's not voting for us. Württemberg, what the hell's wrong with you, bro? Got a defensive pack with you too, you scumbags. Vote 
for me, god dang it. It's also improved relations with Schleswig Hülstone. And it's time to fix our economy, fix our army, because we have a few issues. I mean, we got minus 500 bureaucracy to start with, which is not Gucci at all. Go cargo ports, standardized filing cabinets. I kind of want to go for secular administration, philosophy department, secular uh, academia, and generalized training. Let's go for these as well. All of the good stuff here, please. Thank you very much. Condensed engine pumps for all the mines that we got from all the annex states is going to be a big freaking deal because I'm pretty sure we're the only ones that have condensed engine pumps around this area. Now let's also make sure that we have some uh, infrastructure in these states. So we're going to be building up some railway networks around wherever it is required. So whilst we wait to get those relations with the Austrians, it's time we do some conquests in the Arabian bits. We didn't do that at the start of the campaign. We probably should have because if we did do this at the start, then we would have uh, had zero infamy just like we do uh, right now, but with the addition of the Arabian lands, right? Time is for Shade and Rogue to uh, work her magic here. There you go. Five units. Let's go. And just realized I probably need to recruit some more generals, don't I? Yes. Did I actually have only a level one guy during the war? Oh my god, that explains a lot. Holy shit, I should have realized this, man. Yeah, that was a big mistake on my side. I'm gonna disband the conscripts. I don't need conscripts anymore because I'm not gonna be fighting anyway for um, a while with anyone. And hey, we got nitroglycerin. Hell yeah, baby. What I'm talking about. We're gonna be using nitroglycerin. Now, as you probably know by now, nitroglycerin does have its uh, debuff. Namely, when you do use it, it costs uh, mortality for laborers and engineers and machinists up to 30% mortality for laborers to be more precise but look at the amount of extra coal we're producing 630 more at the price of just a little bit of explosives super worth it guys absolutely freaking lootly super worth it now we do need explosives factories we only have two of them right now so we're gonna need to build a few more that's why we're just gonna do uh the um iron mines first with nitroglycerin and not all of them because then we wouldn't have enough explosives for all of them let's see probably 15 or 17 iron mines for now and we also can change the glass works to crystal glass beautiful now we can also queue up some more uh, explosive factories let's say an extra four and the rhineland should do it for now i guess also we do need a few more government administration buildings so let's get uh one more in brandenburg and one more in silesia do we need more railways in saxony i think we do at least one more maybe even two actually minus 26 infrastructure that means we need two railways in the uh, sax there's one railway is 20 infrastructure and we definitely can afford some more construction sector so let's get three more in westphalia two more in brandenburg and three more in rhineland i guess all right we got north yemen that means we can start conquering the adjacent provinces to yemen and of course we're also going to be gunning for bahrain which we can use later down the line as a bargaining chip the ottomans would love to get Bar bahrain state in exchange to help us out so we could use the ottomans against the uh, russians or somebody else and we just give them the state of bahrain when the time arises for that whoa french peasant revolt what an absolute shock that the french are revolting again i cannot i i i don't know i i've never seen the french doing this ever again you know yes in case you're wondering we are bankrolling the austrians as well we need to get those relations up as soon as possible and they are damaging the relations with us so yeah can you just be nice to me austria please i love you so much please be nice to me i'm also attempting to uh get right of assembly which eventually is going to lead to me getting guaranteed liberties that is in my opinion as a best security uh, type of uh, legislation now that being said after we're gonna start researching uh well not researching but we're gonna be enacting a colonial doctrine since I do want to start colonizing myself and once I have some more ships I'm also gonna be invading these areas in the south here because they have extremely good resources there's tons of coal tons of iron tons of sulfur tons of Vicky three virgins in the southern bits of South Africa and there you go boys we got it up to consideration phase so i'm fairly confident that we're going to be able to pass this on the first attempt let's go baby we absolved the obligations that we got with the austrians which gave us a frack ton of relations and they've stopped damaging our mutual relations no shot oh my god this is so good they're down to wary now and they don't see us as a rival anymore because we have the cordial relations oh dude it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's going to happen happen please vote for me you scumbags they actually 
actually went to minus 20 now. Oh my dude. If we manage to get them from cautious to increase their relations, they will vote for us, my dude. What? Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Can we do Super Germany before the Italians unify? Because the Italians seem to have a lot of unification movement going on there as well, from what I can notice right now. It wasn't on the exact first attempt, but after three failed ones, we did manage to get right of assembly, so that makes a, not much of a difference. It's, it's basically the same like the first one, okay? Now let's attempt to guaranteed liberties. If it works, and it might work, then we're on the right way towards having the best Germany run I've had in Vicky 3 in quite some time, my boys. Quite some time. And yes, we do need a lot more government administration buildings. Let's get a few more of those going. Trade agreement from the Brits. Sure, why not? That's gonna be actually pretty good, because we can start increasing the trade volume between the two of us. Uh, so let me do that right now, actually, because we do have a few things that we want to export to the British as well, which would bring us quite a little bit of cash. There you go, like grain. And after unpausing, there you go, we gained an extra 6,000 ducats, which is better than none, right? After all, seem to have uh, the start of infrastructure issues in these nation in these uh, provinces, so we're gonna have to fix that up as well. And you know what? Since we're doing so well, let's actually remove the tax on liquor. Yeah, yeah, let's get people uh, a little bit happier with us, shall we? Hey, we can use uh, Sweden. We can get the Swedes in our customs union. And we just got guaranteed liberties. That is a double wahami, boys. Double wahami. Not only that, but we got some extra um, bureaucracy, so we can use that to advance our law enforcement. And we're going to try and get our home affairs as well. So we're going to need to build a few more government administration buildings now, I guess. Because that's going to be 500, if I'm not mistaken. My math might be a little bit off there. But yeah, it means we're going to need more government administration buildings. Also, I strongly believe that Oman is going to be a really great initial protectorate for us. Because uh, they've got a lot of potential, if you ask me. In fact, I'm fairly certain that Oman is going to be an absolutely amazing integral part of our country once we integrate them in the future. And it looks like we can get some type of health system. I'll go for private health insurance. It's better than no health insurance at the end of the day, right? Plus, I'm going to be spamming a ton more of um, of these logging camps because we just need logs. I mean, we need camps. We need we need wood. We need wood is what I'm trying to say here. Wood needed, basically. Holy shit. We have 2.7 thousand shortage of wood and 1,000 shortage of tools. Okay. We need a lot more tooling workshop, buddy. We need a frack ton more of these bad boys. And we don't have enough population in Westphalia, so we should probably build them up in Anhalt, where apparently we do have a lot of population. All right, so we're going to be uh, getting the uh, Belgians now in a customs union with us because apparently they're cool with that. And we're also going to be getting the core back that we have on uh, Luxembourg, which unfortunately is right now a junior partner of the vile Danish people. And by Danish, I actually mean Dutch. Okay, in my defense, they both start with the D, so clearly there's, um, there's a very easy mistake to make. All right, and we're down to medium taxation, but I feel like maybe we should go back to um, high taxation so we don't lose too much money I guess. And I I know, I cracked and I had to enact migration control. The reality is that I'm getting 1.5 million uh, loyalists from placating these guys, so I'd rather have some loyalists, at least for the time being. We can go back to open borders later, if, uh, if anything. And we can actually sway the Austrians to our side. What? Okay, I'm down for that. I'm definitely down for that. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. That actually changed them so that we can get an alliance with them. What? No shot. Let me check. No freaking shot, dude. No shot. How are they now? 55! So, that means that they would accept forming Germany with us if we are not in a diplomatic play. Just back down, Netherlands. Please back down. Trade agreement. I'll give you everything you want from me, Austria. I just don't want you to cancel those relations with me. Because I have a strong suspicion that they might cancel the relations with me. And then I'm not going to be able to unify with them. So that's why I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just back down and give the Dutch some prestige. Or not. No, you know what? We'll make this a really fast war. We'll make it a quick war. Get the Dutch down. And then hopefully these guys uh, stay on my side. And if they stay on my side and they don't break the alliance with me, then we're going to be able to form Super Germany in 1857 significantly faster than I did in my test run, which was around 1865. But yeah, that was also RNG, right? So you got to keep that in mind. All right, that's going to be easy. Okay, this is going to be a super easy war. Fast, quick, to the point. Let's go assign the designate strategic area so we can quickly uh, rush for their capital. And uh, what the hell is this? Uh, let's go for this. We don't want to piss off the Russians for the time. 
timing. We want them to be our best friends. And we've got some trade goods that we're not trading with the Dutch anymore. It's okay. We'll trade them back afterwards once we've won the war, which we pretty much already freaking won. Come on. We need the peace. We need the peace quickly so we can form Super Germany. Oh my God. If I could form Super Germany by 1857, that would be actually freaking mind blowing, my dude. <laughs> All right, war has been won. Now it's just a matter of uh, waiting for the war score to go down to minus 100 so we can enforce on them. And it should be uh, right about now. We gave the Austrians a uh, treaty port. That was the requirement, but it's fine. Let's see. Can we do it now, please? Oh my God, I had to unpause. Oh my God. And let me check what achievements can I get now? What achievements can I get? Okay, so I'm not gonna continue. I'm, I'm not gonna finish your recording. I'm actually, like I said, today, the whole day, I'm gonna just play Germany, okay? So, start as Prussia, form Germany. We did. Own 10 states in Africa with the fully owned. Okay, so we're gonna go colonial, like I said. Unite Germany, have Max Stinner rule your country. N not sure who the fuck that is, but we'll try. Um, what else? Is there anything else pertaining to Germany? That's it. Okay, no problem. We're gonna go get both of those done. And these are, by the way, incorporated states. Holy shit. We went up to 113 million GDP in just like 20 years as freaking Russia. Dude, this is insane by the way i'm gonna get the save game available to all my patrons and channel members link in description if you like to get the save for yourself and i'm gonna finish the first part here because i feel like this is a pretty good cliffhanger for us and i'm gonna continue recording but i'm gonna release the second part as soon as we get the likes and the comments really hope you guys enjoyed this run and i hope to see you in the second part of the campaign so until the next time check out this awesome video up next and i want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons channel members and twitch subscribers I would not be able to do this without all your support. 